Hello, State Senator J.D. Mesnard here from District 13 for another legislative update. I'm going to start out with some unfortunate, albeit not surprising news, and that is that Governor Hobbs vetoed my bill, Senate Bill 1305, which would have banned racist ideology and curriculum like critical race theory from being taught to our kids in K-12 public schools. So we kind of saw this veto coming, still was disappointed to... Uh, to have it actually happen really was a slap in the face to parents who have brought real concerns about the assignments that their kids are coming home with that aren't teaching about history, but rather are categorizing people based on the color of their skin, uh, which we don't want to see in our schools. So in her very patronizing veto letter, uh, Governor Hobbs suggested this is not an issue. I respectfully disagree, and many parents out there do. In addition, she suggested that we need to be focusing on other real issues but as I've mentioned in prior updates, we did pass a state budget, which she vetoed and would have funded critical services like education and health care. So it comes across as disingenuous. Plus, we also passed a, a ban on the rental tax, which is an unfair tax hitting renters at a time when inflation is through the roof and, and high uh, housing prices are causing families to struggle. She vetoed that as well. So very unfortunate that she's playing uh, politics with people's lives and livelihoods. But on a good note, some of my bills that I've mentioned before regarding election integrity have advanced out of the Senate and are advancing in the House. One of them, 1595, would treat everyone who's voting on Election Day or near Election Day the same, meaning that if you have a mail-in ballot uh, and you're walking it up on Election Day, we would require you to have uh, to show ID as we require everyone else voting at the polls to, to do. That would speed up the process because we wouldn't have to spend weeks signature verifying. Another bill I have, Senate Bill 1596, would actually make sure that all government buildings are available during elections to be polling places so we can get back to precinct level voting. After all, they're funded by taxpayer money. And then third is another tool for voters who are mailed a ballot and wish to feed it into the machine and have it tabulated on site. 1597 would require the two big counties, Maricopa and Pima, to have one at least one location in every legislative district for voters to be able to do that. A couple of other bills that we passed, which unfortunately all Democrats or nearly all Democrats voted against, are aimed at uh, improving public safety. One increases the, the penalty on fentanyl. Uh, those who are dealing in fentanyl. We've seen a really a, an epidemic uh, where even young people are, are, uh, are being hurt by this drug, uh, but also uh, another bill that would require level one sex offenders to be uh, registered on the sex offender website. Again, these are common sense public safety measures that unfortunately Democrats voted against. That's all for this week. God bless.